This podcast serves as an introduction to the NJIT self-study. My colleagues and I are deeply involved in a time of reflection, renewal, and planning as we prepare for institutional review from the Middle States Commission on Higher Education. I am Norbert Elliott, Professor of English and Chair of the NJIT Self-Study, and I'm the curator of this series. In this series, my colleagues and I will use a social media approach to self-study. Our podcast will allow us to build a sense of community around the accreditation self-study process, and these podcasts will allow us to document our efforts as we move forward toward the 2012 evaluation team visit. In this series, you'll find a great deal of information about NJIT and our efforts to document our achievements and initiate a process of renewal. In all of the detail, however, four themes should be evident. First, as New Jersey Science and Technology Institution, our approach to self-study is naturally one of research. We are planning, in essence, an intensive process that will generate hypotheses that will be confirmed, or denied, by evidence we'll gather. So, we'll approach the self-study as we do all else at NJIT, as a research-based initiative. As Michael F. Meadow notes in Planning and Assessment in Higher Education, multiple measures will be required as we account for the effectiveness and efficiency of human and fiscal resources deployed in support of teaching, learning, and service. Second, we will seek ardently to document our accomplishments in institutional effectiveness. With Ernest Boyer, we will realize the inherent weakness in the machine metaphor of input and output, and we will provide empirically based exposition and analysis of our response to the MSCHE characteristics of excellence, that highly articulated statement of accountability in post secondary education. Third, we aim in the self study process to plan a common future for the NGIT community. In a community, as James R. Taylor tells us, we collectively know not just something more, but something different from what any of us individually knows. Where we'll strive for transparency in our accountability effort, we'll work equally hard to be provocative in our thinking, to question ourselves in the kind of university we want to have in the future. And finally, our efforts are intended to prompt renewal. And all the work that will be done will work to remind ourselves that the process itself is important, that the meetings and the coffee and the hallway conversations and the email messages all are, in and of themselves, important. We hope you enjoy this series and come along with us as we undertake what promises to be an exciting journey.